<coughs> All right, you guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about uh, Crimson Invasion and how it relates to the UN50 format. Um, yeah, this set, we I think we went through it, what, like a month ago, and we were like, it's okay. Yeah. It, there's nothing to write home about. There are some few things, um, but... I don't remember too many specifics, but I don't think there was anything that was super memorable. So. Right, yeah, there's nothing that's like groundbreakingly busted or anything like that so B bustedly groundbreaking uh, that was, a, that was uh, just a butchering of the english language just gustedly browned baking can we just talk about the cards yes okay, um thanks. all right yeah i'll go one by one um the weedle here uh is not this not gonna be one of the better weedles you play so the yeah. reverse weedle however is still not one you'd play no so, but they, we do want to talk about the Kakuna because the Kakuna actually makes B drill quite better. Yeah, this is, this is busted. This is, I mean, well, not busted. It's just busted <laughs> as B drill can be. But like, I mean, because anyone who's played Greninja in the past year, two years, knows the power of this kind of effect. Mm -hmm. So yeah. this just makes. And the thing about B drill too is it's only really effective once you get three, four B drills out anyway. So this is gonna really help you accomplish that goal. Oh so. yeah, big time. Speed it up because because once one of your B drills gets knocked out, you have to like be like, oh, okay, crap, I gotta go weedle Kakuna B drill to get that power back. But yeah. now that you have four Kakunas in play, like the need to get weedle Kakuna B drill is l drastically lessened. Yeah. Because you can just kind of like chill and just get it back whenever. You know, like you're like, oh, I can get this over two or three turns instead of one turn. This is going to make mulliganing really easy too. Because if you go second and you just have like start a Weedle and you can just like Lapras for, for Wally. Kakuna and do it turn one for Wally. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Skipping uh, skipping the supporter actual. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> just gonna laugh for some. Just yeah, right. So yeah, this Kakuna will be played in the in the Beedrill deck. I think it now actually requires you to play, like when you play Beedrill from now on. I think you have to go five five four. We used to, yeah. we tried four four four, but now I think with the Kakunas, uh, with oh, sorry with Koga's Kakuna, like yeah, you can't search it with multiply, but it'll help you for like yeah. evolutions in the later stages of the game more right. so. This this card single handedly bumps. This deck up like one tier ish. So. Yeah. So you know, uh, the new B drill, however, is just like not great. No, this this B drill's bad. Yeah, like sixty is like sixty for one's like cool, but I don't mean it's not an EX, right? It's not an EX now. This may take the place of like the worst B drill. I'm not sure. Well, the worst B drill is the one where you evolve and. Uh, um, paralyze and poison them, and I think that's a little bit better than Sudden Sting, because that requires not much of an attack. Yeah, but just like 60 for one is fine, like it's not bad. With Muscle Band, you're one-hitting Claydol and stuff, so right. like... Well, you know, you're one-hitting Claydol anyways, because weak to grass. Oh, that's true. I could I could see an argument for like, maybe this one goes in over the other one. I'm not right. sure, though. That's about it. So, uh, Execute's bad, nothing to write home about there. Um... Executor is psychic, so yeah. No, it's the alone and. Ex yeah, that's why it's not next, I think. That's yeah, it's not even next in the set number. Yeah. Um, that's bad. That's no, really bad. Cacting is bad. Cac and I don't think there's actually even, like, there's not very many good cac turns to even build the deck around, to be honest, so. Um, I mean, this is like stage one rush, if anything else, but. But there's better cac turns. There's, the, there's a grass cac turn that does 60 and 30 to one of your own Pokemon. Yeah. So I think that's just, like, straight better. So, um, you may, once you're in turn, you may discard a Shelmet from your hand. That's bad. I don't see any reason why that would be a thing. Yeah, I don't either. So, uh, there's better Shelmets too, so no reason to play yeah. a Shelmet. I mean, that, that's Heavy Ball Searchable, though. Well, there's a, there's a Heavy Ball Searchable Shelmet that also has a Sleep Attack. Oh, okay. So, that's why that one's just better. And I think, actually, 70 HP. Actually, I might be wrong. Let me check real fast. Just for but, the... uh, I mean, if you if you're playing like Excelgor while, or I guess you can't do that Excelgor, and you want it like a heavy ball in an engine, it's maybe not the worst. But yeah, Shellman from Plasma Blast, three of your retreat cost, and it has a yawn. Gotcha. So that deck is just strictly better. So either way, it's not very important. Yeah, and then this is bad. Excelgor is very bad. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Skidoo. <laughs> go go <laughs> go go. Let's go go. This Pokemon has 80 more damage to your opponent's grass Pokemon. Whoa. I mean, that's not even relevant because its attack is so bad. Yeah, and it's an EX. You notice it's hollow. 
Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that, that's card's horrible. We're just yeah. pumping through this. Uh, this Marowak will be an EX. Um, oh. But Dance of Flames is not, like, the worst attack ever. Not an EX, though, man. If that it seems so bad. You're right. If it wasn't an EX, this card would actually, like, you could consider it, I would think. The thing is, it, Fire doesn't need this anyway, because they already have Blacksmith and tons of other acceleration. Like, and, Fire doesn't need this. Right. It really doesn't. But, the well, the thing that it does is, like, against Embor, it'll, if you get, like, Hexed, you can Dance of Flames. Yeah. Like, that's, like, the only thing it really realistically gives you. But then you waste your attack, and they come up and shot you for two prizes. Like, what right. The fuck well, I mean, I'm talking about in the situation of if this was not an EX. Yeah, okay, for sure. But then as it, it stands, you right. would never play this. Yeah, um, and 70 and, like, burning them is a horrible attack. So oh, gonna... actually, you know what? Huh. You know, you remember that really gimmicky uh, Cubone that does 20 less for each uh, Marowak in your discard? Oh, but remember, it doesn't count because it's alone in Marowak. Oh, fuck. Okay, you're right. Yeah. If only. I was thinking you could play another one, but... I think, when we, we, we talk about rule changes a lot, I think that's one of the rule changes that I would like to see. Because na the name doesn't count for evolutions. I would like to see it where the name doesn't count for anything. So you just want Gyarados to be the best deck in format? Well, I would I would say that like it's really annoying. Like because then you could play a Koga's B drill. Yeah. Right. I think it should only count for having like a fifth or a sixth one in. I think that's the only way that I would want it to count. Right. But I don't know. That's the only rule change I would actually want to see. So, cause then, cause then you could consider Cubone because let's. I'm gonna check here. Mar well, I mean, you still couldn't because it's bad, but you know, I know what you mean. Well, well, then how many that that gimmicky Cubone? How many Marowaks are there? Are there? So you have a lone Marowak, four Marowaks. There's a dark Marowak, so that'd be six Marowaks, and that's it. So yeah, you could play six then. So you're reducing by 120 on the yeah. gimmicky Cubone if that was a thing. Yeah. But that's way too long talking about a really bad card. Yes, yes. Uh, Numel's bad, and the camera wrapped it evolves into is also bad. Yes, it is. Holy crap! This set sucks. Uh, there's better star use. <laughs> like, yeah. You don't even play this star you. Uh, this card's just like weird, and I hate it. I can't even. I actually thought about this card a lot, and I couldn't even think of like weird niche uses for this in UN50. Yeah. No, not even standard. <laughs> I don't even know what. Like, ugh. I mean, I guess it prevents you from decking out. <laughs> That's the only uh, the only scenario I see. But that doesn't happen in UN50 anyway, so like... No. Uh, do you think this Magikarp replaces any of the other Magikarps? I think so. I think that's that's a really valuable ability. Just built in, like, snipe protection. <laughs> True. It helps against random things like Brine Kingdra or like... Ooh, the, yeah, you're right. Tapu Koku, shit like that. Yeah, you're right, actually. So yeah, I think this would have replaced one of them. I don't know which one, but it is going to replace yeah. a Magikarp. Um, I feel like this Gyarados is horrible. Yeah, this is really bad. Like, waste your turn evolving to do 70 for 3. Yeah, the other Gyarados is Two, all much better. 240 HP is not the worst. But, like, you're going to completely have to change how you play Gyarados, because you have to run Water Acceleration or something. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, seems seems kind of clunky. Probably better swin ups. Although heavy ball searchable, I think that's the first swin up with heavy ball. So, uh, oh, there is no. Hold on, actually, let me look at this. Is okay, that... well, there's no good pillow swin, so I don't know why we're looking. At no, 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 no. There is a. This actually might be a little bit relevant because there is no swin ups with three retreat, but there is a mammo swine. Let's see, where where is this one? Isn't it? Oh. They're all bad. No, 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 no. I looked at, I looked at them. No, no, no. There might be a pilot one. No, there's one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pilot one from Breakthrough. It says gathering footsteps. This attack does ten more damage for each retreat cost and the retreat cost of your Swinub, Pillow Swine, and Mammoth Swines in play. And there's no three retreat Swinub. So if you were trying to play like a gimmick deck with the Pilot Swine from Breakthrough, this is the Swinub you would play. It actually boosts your damage by twenty. Okay, that still just sounds awful. But it's I mean, it's a gimmick. Yeah, it's, it's a gimmick. Okay. But like, if you if you want to have fun, that's where this window takes the place of a lot of things. That's fair. And the artwork's really cute because he's in the leaves and the. It stuff. is really cute, but that's what that I got. Doesn't mean much. No, that's what I got. So and then this card's wow. bad. Yes. That's a horrible card. <laughs> it's so bad. Would, 
like all night party or hypno or something? This Pokemon is now asleep and heal ninety. So you oh, get oh, okay. okay. That, I yeah. thought it said if it was asleep. No, it's you four energies to heal ninety. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes! Pillow swine, focus band, dude. Just, um, uh, so one of the things about this mammoth swine, actually, like, um, granted, it's it's not good, but it's a hundred HP non EX Pokemon. You know what else is like almost at that level? Infernape. Or not Infernape, uh, Incineroar. Oh, well, we'll get there. But you're right. Like, so, this is bad, but just something to think about. Non-EX 100 HP. If you wanted to build a Mamoswine deck. like I don't. Okay. <laughs> uh, there's better Emeralds. Yes. And, uh, I've, like, um, this Octillery... Ooh, that's actually kind of... I mean, it's, it's, like, not great, but... No, and I, but I was telling you, like, uh, this artillery is not the worst. Um, special artillery only really gets activated like by you have double rainbow and counter energy. Yeah, that's really the only things that's gonna. Oh, and scramble energy, right? Yeah, so, scramble energy would work. Really so too. those are the only things that are gonna really activate this. Um, but that's to do 120 for two energy cost. You could literally just play Aerodactyl Fates Collide, which does yeah. 120 for a DCE. And discards, discards are special from them, not from you. I mean, this is, would be a good way of keeping Incineroar in check, I suppose, if you needed if, be, like a weird answer to that. For if some you needed reason. a tech for that. I mean, I want a tech against Incineroar. I mean, <laughs> stage one, maybe. I don't know. I mean, stage one plays Vaporeon, so. Yeah, that's true. I, this card, it's, it's, don't get me wrong, it's good, but they're, it's, the, it's the classic U150 good versus better. Like, yes, you yeah. can make a case for this, but the Aerodactyl from Fates Collide is better in every way. It's DCE, 120 HP, discards a special from them, and has free retreat. Yeah, for sure. I agree. So, unfortunately. The only way you can see that if is if, if the other Octillery was played as, like, a support Pokemon, and then you went to, like, a 2-2 True. Line or something. But True. So... But you don't yeah, but you don't play the other artillery because you play uh, download Porygon because the other artillery is an EX. Yes. So even yeah. worse. Corefish, Crawdons. Ooh. So I think I just wanna point out that at this point we've seen zero cards that are playable. So uh Kakuna. Cool. Oh Kakuna, I guess. Kakuna's one. So this Crawdon actually if you can get it like it's two like yes, energy hate is not good in U one fifty. It just like rarely has been. But to discard two, like, that's not the worst. It, it's pretty bad. It's bad, but it's not the worst. Okay, There's a lot of things that this will, like, directly counter. Okay, so you're going to play it with, like, Blastoise? Blastoise, um, you could play it with Mew EX and Dimension Valley. I don't know. What? <laughs> to, to reduce the cost by one, so it's only three energies. The attack, is, the attack costs us so much. Yeah, this card's bad. But, yeah, I don't know what you're saying, dude. This, is, I mean, this would be bad for like two waters. I don't I mean, know. I mean, it's interesting. Um, but there might be better Feebasses. There's the one that has Bench Shield. Yeah, better Feebasses. Uh, this is just awful. Shuffle one. TLC. Like, the thing, the thing about TLC I could see. Oh, okay, granted, it's an EX. The thing about TLC that I could see is. Um, uh, like late game ending, and if their octi or their their clay doll is damaged, yeah, that's the only reason I would ever see to play this card. But it's still bad. I think Porygon Z does this better, basically. It does. So that card's bad. Uh, Reg Ice is an EX. It's not very good either. No, because you can just hex around that. Yep. Um. Oh yeah. Are there any? The Pikachu is like fat. What the hell? Yeah. Right. Fat Pikachu's back, baby. Damn. Pika draw. Thick Pika. Um. No. Yeah, not really. You know what's coming up, right? <laughs> <laughs> Best card in the set. Defense curl, Quirksu punch, not great, but bam! <laughs> Alone and Golem, baby. Like I said, hey. this card is. I I am excited to build this deck. I mean, I don't think it's bad. I think it's I think it's fine. It'll be like mid tier. I think. I think it'll be a good deck, dude. Like, I think it's gonna be like mid tier, like four or five. You're one shotting support Pokemon for three energies. Uh, you can one shot pretty much anything, and then throw a protection cube on there for that fifty damage to go away. I feel like I feel like this is gonna be like a worse version of Incineroar. Like that's all this is gonna be. But like Heavy Rock GX is like, 
I think you're underestimating how good that card is. Yeah, maybe. Like, that's going to swing turns. That's going to take two prizes. Because you heavy rock jacks to knock something out after, like, ending them or something disrupting them. And if they don't right. have an answer already on board, you're just going to take another knockout with, with hammer in or tackle. Yeah, that's true. And if you, let's say, let's have this scenario too. Like, let's say you don't have the protection cube on there. You're going to have rough seas out. So if you super elect electromagnetic tackle, like, a turn before, you rough seas and heavy rock, and then you rough seas again, you just heal that 50 damage off. Right. And you took three prizes because you tackled, rocked, and then tackled or hammered or something, right? Like, I, There's not really anything that one-shots this either, besides, like, Magnazone, I think. Because, yeah. like, the common fighting Pokemon is, like, Carbominable, and that doesn't one-shot this outside of, like, yeah. Iris plays. So. Even with a... Well, you'd need a... You need a strong energy choice band. Yeah. So, like, it's... I, like, legitimately think this card is actually going to be kind of busted. I don't think there's any other, like, good golems, unfortunately. I don't think there is either. Um, I think most golems are pretty shitty. Actually. Oh, I like I like I search, I search golems. There's the other alone in golem, which is an EX... Flip a coin for each lightning attached, 80 times the number of heads. And then heavy slam for four energies, 200 minus 30 for each retreat in your opponent's active retreat cost. I think that'll probably go along this, because you're yeah. going to play with electric or like even Magnazone or something. So. And that's not the worst, because like if they have one retreat, you're still dealing 170. Yeah, yeah, I think this will still slide in that deck. Yeah. And honestly, like you could play cute little things like um, like stuff that like gives your opponent free retreat. Like, yeah. I don't know if there's a stadium that says all Pokemon are free retreat. I don't think there is, but there's, like, at least Skyfield. Or it's not Skyfield, yeah, Skyro Bridge. Skyro <laughs> Bridge, that's what I mean. You're not going to do that, because you'll be one-hitting basics anyway. Oh, that golem, I think, is, like, actually not bad. Go back up. Wait, can not you see my home. screen right now? Can you okay. see my screen? Oh, you're looking at uh, Skype, yeah. Sorry, I, the recording software doesn't see my screen, but Skype does. So. Oh. so when you say this golem, nobody knows but you. Okay. Yeah, maybe they're all pretty shitty. Yeah, they are because they all take fighting energies too. So. Yeah. So you're gonna have to. There's other. You're gonna play lightning Pokemon. Like you're gonna play Coco and stuff. Like. Yeah. So I think that deck's actually gonna be pretty good. Do you think this is electric or like Magnezone? Electric. Okay. I think that's all you need because like all you need is the lightning and a DCE. Yeah, that's fair. And like heavy rock might be kind of hard to charge up. Like you can't do it in one go, obviously, because you have to evolve anyways. Yeah. So. I think it'll be okay. Healing, it's gonna be rough. So like, you're gonna have rough seas and like some other stuff, I think. But I think you're right though. Like Guzma, Guzma ing up uh, like a Claydol, and then Heavy Rock GXing is gonna put your opponent in a really weird spot. Uh, how do you spell G R A V E L E R? I'm gonna see if there's any Gravelers you could play, where you could do uh, uh, where you could play like a memory, not memory bird, but Shrine of Memories or something. Oh, uh, like a Rage kind of thing. Either Rage or or just something, you know, like ten. That's bad. I guess not. No, they're all all the gravelers are are pretty underwhelming. They're uh, all really bad. Yeah, this graveler, fifty plus twenty, it's or eighty and snipe twenty. Yeah, they're not great. So they're never mind. That's not like a a thing, I guess. But okay. Anyways, moving on. Um, this seems bad. That is very bad. All right. All right. Let's. I'm gonna do this for you. Put one damage count on one of your opponent's Pokemon. There's probably better Gastlys. There's free retreat Gastlys. Yeah, there is. This might actually be legitimately played, though. Yeah, that like, might be... I mean, there's no, like, dedicated Gengar deck, so... No, but, like, spreading damage, let's see. Um, uh, yeah, maybe not. I mean, because there's also better Haunters that you play and stuff, like like Lost World, for instance. There's the Fossil Haunter that has the, the buffer ability. I thought you played the Confusion Haunter in Lost World. You play a 2-2 two, two, one line. Okay. But that Haunter's is better because it's got free retreat and buffer. Yeah, and Lost World doesn't care about damage, so... No. Like, so whatever. This might be played in some Haunter decks, especially... Or not Gengar, or in Gengar decks, like the ones that... The Creepshow Gengar, if you play, like, a dedicated Creepshow deck... Yeah. Like, this would definitely be played. So... Let me close my door. Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Um, I'm going to touch it. Put two damage counters. Um, it's what like... This, like, there's Ampharosis to do the same thing, so... Yeah, Plus, this is going to so. be an EX, so... Yeah, kind of underwhelming. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. The attack's bad, too. Um, the, the Chaos Wheel on a Stage 1. 
Like it's I don't think that's very relevant. No, at this point. it really isn't because tools and stadiums just aren't really prevalent because of uh, like windstorm and stuff. Yeah. And special energies, yeah, I guess it's whatever. But and then dark arts, I don't think it was ever going to be dark arts. This actually might, this actually might go in a thing that we're considering is um, vileplume lock. Because vileplume lock already plays a miss a, a miss magus. That's fair. Other and, than that, though, it's not very And, and Dark Arts is, like, is going to clunk up their hands, so Dark Arts is going to do some damage. And then Chaos Wheel, like, you could lock everything out of their hand, except for supporters. Supporters yeah. and basic energies. So That's actually, fair. legitimately, the Magus actually might go in Fire Plum Lock. That doesn't sound bad, actually. So we've hit three good cards now. We've hit Miss Magus, might actually get played, Alone in Golem's its own deck, and Kakuna. Yeah. We truck along. Spoink. Whatever. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, it can't be confused. Oh, shit, Grumpig. Uh, countered. You, you sultry minx. Um, <laughs> that's actually kind of cool. That is... The thing is, Spiritomb gets around that, so... Oh, you're right. Yeah, you're right. It's the same problem that... Uh, what's its fuck? The... the Banette. Bennett has, yeah. Well, the thing about Schmecko is that you could do this, and uh, they can't play down Lapras or Uxie. I mean, that's true, but I mean, it, you're doing 10 damage a turn, so they'll just sit there. Yeah, I know. Maybe in some poison deck. It might be a cute tech in something, but I, I think No, I get it. It's cool, but... Yeah. It's a unique effect. That, that stuff has... Choose a card. Oh, okay. Uh, before doing damage, discard tool cards from your Pokemon. Oh, yeah, we talked about this. Yeah, this is just a better truck... Yeah, or just another one. It, yeah, it might be. It might go in Chuck or. Well, I mean, it's definitely going in Chuck because it's better than the one we have now. Well, Chuck is from your hand. I think it's better to have them on all your Pokemon because then you can like play them all down and then just like leave them until you actually need to Chuck. True. You know what I mean? Yeah, that is true. You're right. And I think it has got more HP. Um, and there's like Gorg. There's like. There's like Gorg. I support. I think that there's. I don't know. You're right. Yeah, no, I think this would go. It's DCE. It's I would much rather I would much rather have them be discarded from my field than have to always have them in my hand. And you know what? Know? It's it's ten plus, not not forty times. Yeah. So that's also better. So you you can technically like iris and not discard any tools. Like that's a weird scenario, but the problem is you are damage capped, but I don't think that's going to truly matter, right? Because six Pokemon in your field is already 240 plus 10 is 250. So you're yeah, one-shotting anything in format anyways. Yeah, so... So yeah, Gorgast. Actually, you're right. That probably just takes place to Chuck. And plus, it actually helps. I mean, it's the same sort of concept as Chuck as getting all the tools in your discard pile. I think this just takes the place of that Primeape in Chuck, if anything. Because remember, Primeape is like the worst Chuck attacker. Um, so now you just play like this and the Kofagrius. Yeah. We have the primate in there. Yeah, it's one of the toss. Yeah, and discard your hand. Because that's only 30 times. It's only 30 times. It is for your treat. So I think that that 1 1 line comes out and this just goes in like as a 1 1 Gorgeist instead. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah. I can get behind that. Uh, Salandit will be played now that we have a second Salandit. Thank God. Yeah, this is so much better. We still haven't got um, another one of the. Uh, Torcats? No, the Bulu one, the Vikavolt one. Oh, Grubbin and yeah. yeah, we need another Grubbin, but we do need another Tora Cat, right? Because uh, yeah, but we get one in this set, so no, we don't. Oh, we got one in Shining Legends. Sorry. Okay, so yeah, um, we're good there too. It's the uh, in Sin. Yeah, because it's in Cinema where it came out in Shining Legends. We already talked about that in Shining Legends. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, that's <laughs> so good. It's an uncommon. Yeah. Profane punch fifty plus eighty if your opponent if you have any bench damage on you. Yeah. Yeah, no, that yeah, so we do get one of So yeah, we finally get a slander. We're still missing the grubbin. Um the grubbin charge bug thing. But we finally that's, have a slander. That's gonna make Vicable much better once we get that. Once we get that's that tangential, yes. but yeah. Yes, for sure. Um but yeah, Salandit makes Salazzle better now because you don't have to find another Salandit and then evolve it back up to yeah. for your turn. Okay. Just consistency. Um, and the Salazzle's not good. <laughs> no, it's really Like, not. Severe Poison's pretty good on a non... Is it non-EX? No, it's an EX. Oh. So, well, it's, that's really bad, then. Yeah, that's really bad, then. So, never mind. New Orangu, that's pretty cool. Um, hey! 
<laughs> We're just talking about Chuck. I mean, there's like worse things you could play. I don't know. That's actually like almost there. I feel like you could consider it for sure because then next, like they have to like end you, otherwise you have 130 damage sitting in your hand. Yeah. I don't know. That's that's maybe too slow, but it's not it's not terrible. No, and you're already playing psychics anyways, so yeah, not hard to charge up Zen Head, but with either DCE or Dimension Valley, and 70 is not the worst. Like it would be nice if it, if this was 80, then you almost would instantly consider it. Like you yeah. consider a lot more because that 80 is so much more relevant. I uh, can't play this. It's banned. So. Can I just read this real quick though? I'm just curious. Yeah, it, MG Light's pretty good. <laughs> Symbiotic GX, that's great. Symbiont. Yeah, and it's cool too. Like, two cards to your opponent's surprise. Like, it's. Cool. Hey, people are using it for empty light, though. Like, it's pretty relevant. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, there's better Mankeys. Yeah. And there are better Prime Apes. Yeah, that's not very good. No, not very good. Two manual enough. fighting attachments is kind of shitty. Yep. Cubone, there's better Cubones. The thing, okay, the thing about Primeape is you always have to like judge that compared to Curbominable, and this is just way worse than Curbominable. <laughs> oh, yeah, by far. Uh, Reggie Rock, cool. You can pump up the steel. Reggie, okay. <laughs> the Regis are so bad in this set. Yeah, they are. Uh, this is bad. Yeah. I don't Weird see. art too. I don't like that. Yeah, right. It's got the West and East Sea both just like looking at each other. Stuff is so cute. Uh but we finally get a fighting beware, and it is bad. <laughs> like crosscut for 120, cool. Uh, but it is going to be an EX actually. Oh, so that's really bad. So then. not very great. Counter it, an ability called Fluffy though. I know it's so <laughs> stupidly cute. Uh, Buzzle is is unfortunately banned, but it's really good in standard. I've heard I've heard people talking about decks with this guy. Yeah, because the jet punch, it's like Landris. Landris is coming back, and it has a different weakness. So, yeah, yeah. Houndour is probably better Houndours, but whatever, because there's no good Houndooms. The like, only good Houndoom is the fire one that prevents items, and even then, it's yeah. kind of like whatever. And this Houndoom is just like all Houndooms, just very average and boring. Yes. Uh, Dino. I think I don't think there's a Dino with 70 HP. I could be wrong, but whatever. 70 HP. It's cool art. I like that. Yeah, with the Fuero on the back, and it's kind of like all. It's like papery. Yeah, it was really cool. Uh, it's Vilas, whatever, and then the High Dragon, I believe. Yeah, it's just not good. No. And it's and it looks like it's gonna be an EX actually. Yeah, it will be. Okay. So. Sheesh. Yeah, I can't. I mean, Parallel City does this basically, except better. Yeah. I don't understand why you'd want to play that. Yeah. So. Uh, Guzzlord will be banned. Um, yeah. So, nothing too interesting there. If it wasn't banned, it'd be pretty damn Even good. Even if it wasn't banned, I still don't think you'd play it. This guy sucks. Oh, Glutton GX, dude? Like, two more prize cards for knocking something out? That three prize cards swing? That's true. That's like... For five darks, though. Like That's not hard to charge up, though. Like, especially, like, with, like... Mm. Like, you attach, and then, like, Dark Patch, and then the next turn you can go, like, attach, Dark Patch, Dazzling Machine, Dark Patch. Like, you can get it in two turns. And there's there's actually Dark Support, like, in terms of, like, High Dragon and that sort of thing. So like, you can always just, like, Baby Evil Tall to it, too. So. Exactly, yeah. So it wouldn't be hard to charge up, I don't think. But, like... Neither here nor there. Yeah, it's, it is banned, so... Um, a, a call for family on a metal Pokemon. Like, I think that's probably already occurred, but whatever... Um, Aron, whatever. That's very lackluster. Larion, whatever. Heavy Ball Switchable, but we already had a Larion that was Heavy Ball. Yeah, I'm sure we had that already. Definitely did. This guy, is an, is this an EX? Yeah, see how it's hollow. Oh, shit. I mean, it's if actually it, not, like, a terrible attack. No, nah, Revenge Cannon's pretty cool. I don't know where, like, ways to spread. There's definitely ways to spread to your own Pokemon, like, Earthquake-type attacks. I mean, just um, magma base and stuff. Yeah, magma base, Po Town, earthquake attacks, that sort of thing. Like, it, you could do it, but if it was non EX, I think you could consider it as its own deck. Yes, I agree. But it just makes yourself so susceptible to like other spread decks. Fire weakness is not a good weakness to have either. Oof. But like, you know what I mean? Like spread spread decks just like take such advantage of this because like if you're trying yeah. to already damage yourself, like they just won't spread you until you damage yourself, and then they'll start spreading you. 
So I don't think it's great, honestly. No, I don't either. But you know, um, this is super relevant. This is not an EX. Yeah, it? no, it is not an EX. Shit. Yeah, yeah, I think this goes in like pretty yeah. much every metal deck. Every single metal deck. And you know what else this goes in? Palka Dialga. Huh. You're right. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. This goes in Palka Dialga. This goes in Metagross. This goes in. Uh, what other metal decks are there? There's not very many. No, and that's why we. Because that's why we. It's not very much with metal weakness either. But yeah, this Registeel definitely goes in metal decks. Like, it's. I. It's yeah. There's just not very many of them. <laughs> no, but I think this is really good. So yeah, I think I this like this is a game changer for our, a couple decks, like a, a complete game changer. So maybe we should just make like Bronzong Metal Toolbox or something. Well, know. now that we can, because like the reason that we can make like a Dark Toolbox deck is primarily because of Evil Tall and Evil Tall Break, yeah, and Dark Patch. So now that we have Bronzong and Registeel, like. Yeah, you just throw a Bronzong. You play the Bronzong Break too, and you just play like a mm -hmm. like the Cabalians and the. Uh, yeah, there's a you could definitely make like a metal toolbox deck now because of Registeel. Maybe that should be one of our ideas. I don't think that'd be bad. No, I really wouldn't. Let me uh, let me get, go ahead and pull that up real quick. Sorry to the people watching the stream, but we got we're we're coming up with ideas on the fly. Fuck uh, it, we're doing it live. We're doing it live. I'm actually going to write it down because I can't open the thing right now because it's behind everything. Um. I know there's a couple of good heat trans too, like... Yeah, there's there's stuff we can play with it, so... Uh, check out the video that will m most certainly be coming out about this deck. Cool. Uh, Scavalier, not great. Not good. No. This card, I think, is being super underhyped in standard right now, by the way. Um, if I were playing in, like, a standard tournament coming up, I would so play, like, at least one of these. Just for Blade GX? Uh, well, Blade GX A, like you can play Rainbows and Blade GX, but B Slice Off. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Like it's without, like it's a, it's a Ultra Ball searchable enhanced hammer. You know? Yeah, I like it. Like it's pretty damn cool. So I, and I think, I think special energies are super relevant right now. Yeah. Great. So not bad, especially if you're playing Rainbows already. But anyways, it's banned in U150, so whatever. We don't care. This really tough is super mean. He's super angry. <laughs> This Weedle not having it. It's great. But Bad it's, card, though. But it's horrible. <laughs> See, it says if any of your opponent's Pokemon have a Dark Energy. It's still, still bad, though. But it says any of them. Oh, okay. So that's actually still pretty bad. Yeah, you're right. Uh, this is going to be an EX. So, yeah, I don't think that's worth it. No. Like, there's other lead stuff. There's stuff that does that just better. Like Sableye. Like Sableye, yeah. Um, a Dragon Executor. Huh. That uses, yeah. That's not great. Yeah, it's super underwhelming. Yeah, especially since you lose a turn and you have to charge it up. Like, yeah, you can charge up with like double dragon and double colorless and that sort of thing. But like, you're still just not hitting for that much, though. No, you're really not. Um, this snipes tropical head snipes. But oh. you know what this goes in? Venusaur. No, it's grass energy, and you're accelerating a lot of grass energies. Oh, Tangrowth. That goes in Tangrowth, baby! <laughs> baby, it goes in Tangrowth! <laughs> okay, let's let's move on. Okay. Uh, Jang, Jang Moo. I never, I never know how to say these guys' names. I know. Hakamoo. <laughs> Noble of War. Komoo. Okay, wait a minute. That's actually not bad, dude. Yeah. Uh, it is an EX, though. Here's the hollow version. Okay. Because the non-holo the non -holo versions are like promos. That's why it has both of them. But yeah, 163 is pretty good. Yeah, it's an EX. Warcry can be charged up with Double Dragon and Double Colorless. Um, fairy energy, fairy weakness is super good. That's not relevant. Not though. relevant at all. Clanging scales is horrible. Yes, it is. So like, you basically just always have to have fewer. But it is. Here's here's the thing. It's it's 120 for a DCE. Do you know what does that better? Yeah. Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl. So, on a stage one, non-EX. And you don't have to limit your bench. Yeah, exactly. So, Como O is cool, but... I mean, if you I mean, were playing a dedicated Como O deck, which is not the worst... Como GX is actually not, not terrible. Right, let me look it up real fast. I just gotta remind myself. Um, it's 30 reduced by 30 on a 240 HP, and then Shred 130, yeah. Ultra Uppercut, blow something up. I mean, it's not great, but it's not, like, terrible. No. There's actually... This is the first non-EX combo, because the other one's a GX, and there's no others. 
Yeah. So. Okay, whatever. Yeah, that's one of those things. I don't think it's there yet, but it's not terrible. No. Uh, mill tank is is just not good in human fifty. There's way better ways to heal. You don't think so? There's better ways to heal. Like what? Like max potion. What do you think about this in like Incineroar? I mean, it, the thing is, like, you have to dedicate, like, a floatstone or a fluffy bear to it, right? Oh, it has to be active. Ooh, okay. Yeah. If it wasn't, this deck, this card would be busted in any format. Yeah, that's true. This card would be just broken as shit. Like, oh, something I was already going to do, and I get a heal 90? Like, sign yeah, me up. Okay. Like, now that it has to be active, like, you have to commit, like, you have to play in a deck with, like, a lot of, um... Float I still don't think we should write this off. Like, I don't know what this goes in, but I think this card is really like, strong. Stash it, away, stash it away. I think this card, like, you could put it in, like, a... In standard, you could put it in Zoroark decks. Um, just because you have, like, Russian or standard retreat. But in, yeah. in UN50, I just think there's just so much... Uh, there's so many other ways to heal. Yeah, that's fair. That, like, you don't... And, like, you, we had this argument yesterday about bench base. Yeah, that's fair. So, like, Max Potion, Center, Pokemon Center, AZ... Brinies, um scoop up, Ugh. scoop up, like. Yeah. Okay. You're right. That's. Fair. There's just way better stuff. I feel. Uh, Swablu, cool. <laughs> uh, search your deck. See, here's the thing about Draco Melody. That it's um, not basic. Yeah, it doesn't say a basic dragon. So you it's have to actually. A, for my curiosity, can we look up some Mega Dragons? That we looked at. We did the same process with Restore. Garchomp for store. Yeah. Um, just so, just some ideas for everybody. We're going to look at just Megas. We're going to look at GXs too. Just, I think there's only a couple GX Dragon cards. Um, oh, wait. Hold on. Uh, it, I have to delete this. There we go. So Mega Salamance is bad. Mega Garchomp is bad. Mega Latios. Like, you can snipe for 120. So, like, okay. Uh, Mega Rayquaza is bad. <laughs> yeah, these are all really bad. <laughs> uh, Mega Latios, Mega Charizard is bad. And that's it. Uh. So, if you go, if we look up the GXs, which I don't think there's actually that many to be relevant. There's Como O. There's the Noivern. Huh. That's like one way to get Noivern out. I think it's just easier to just evolve. Into yeah, because that's the thing. Like, it, like, let's say if your Noivern dies, right? You still have to spend the turn promoting Altaria and Draco Melodying. Why wouldn't you just like evolve? Oh, you have to flip a coin too. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's awful. Let's stop talking about this. Uh, okay. <laughs> if it wasn't flip a coin, I'd, I still don't think it'd be played. I agree. <laughs> Bug search. Your opponent has <laughs> their hand. And then fap. <laughs> Sweet. Stravia. Okay. Star Raptor, not an EX, okay. Alright, alright, still bad. Still not good. No. Sky Hunting's actually. If it wasn't four energies. Like, if it was like. Th oh, wow, you hit and switch with it. Yeah, if you knock it out. So, like, you don't you don't keep it vulnerable. Oh. That's, that's actually kind of interesting. That's like. Is that the be like the most damage hit and switch? But I think that's definitely I, it by far. I would say by far, yeah. Um. Huh. The thing is, you have to, you, A, you have to knock them out with it, right? So if you don't knock them out, you're sticking this four energy Pokemon up in their face. Yeah, that's true. It's kind of hard to charge. I would think it's hard to charge up Staraptor, because there's no, like, acceleration to colorless Pokemon. So you'd have to go, like, DCE upper, DCE counter, DCE double rainbow, that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, but, like, switching into, like, your Spiritomb or something... Once they knock it out, though, you're just fucked, I feel like. I think there's other Star Raptors that are like Star Raptors always been like decent. Yeah. Star Raptor. Let's see. Uh, before doing damage, have your opponent switch seventy for DCE. Uh, strong breeze, not great. Star Raptor. Oh, that's FB. So you you'd have to play like one one. Uh, reduced by twenty. That's not good. Yeah, so there's actually like legitimately no other good Star Raptors. The Cyclone slash Star Raptor, seventy for DCE on an Ony X. It's not bad. It's not bad, but I think it's not quite there yet to be worth it. That's interesting though. Sky hunting definitely I overlooked that. That's not bad at all. No. So something to think about. This is actually comically banned because <laughs> it's 180. Oh. <laughs> it's still over 150, even though it's a non X. I think this is like the first non X Pokemon that's banned because of the basic ruling. 
It's not even very good. No. <laughs> Five energies is just bananas. And you have to have all these other things in. If it was non-EX, actually it would be pretty decent. Yeah. Cause it, just because of the HP, but if it's an EX. I mean, you you would you could just use it as like a, a hidden switch thing, like in Dawn Fan at that point. No, yeah, exactly. But there's just... just, just trying to knock this Regigigas out. Good luck. Okay. Let's talk about Sensino. Can we not... I okay. This is the card that Greed and I had the most debate on. I think this card is really good. I think this card is shitty. And Greedy thinks it's absolute trash. I think this is good because like you're putting you're putting just like this awkward pressure onto your opponent, right? Like you can. Oh, you're not. Yes. Like let me go ahead and Lysander your clay all out, right? And then amazing plea. Are you gonna let me have two of these cards from my discard pile that are gonna yes, win me? Yes, I am. And then I'm gonna come up and one shot this fucker because he has 90 HP. And cool. Sucks. And then I'm gonna do all this cool stuff with those two cards I got back. Imagine getting. What like are you a gonna do? Use another Sinchino because they all suck dick. <sighs> I think they're this, all bad. I think this card's actually pretty good. Okay, play this at the tournament and get go 0-5. I think I, this. I, I don't see this card at all, dude. Like we've looked at the Sinchinos, they're not good. But you just play this as like a tech. Like I think it's in a, what? I don't. It's late game, okay, late game scenarios with amazing plea, I think is just too good to overlook. Both players are down to like th two or three prize cards, right? And you amazing plea that eighty damage late game is so huge, right? No, I'm just gonna give you the two cards and then end you. Oh, late game? Yes. I think this. I think this card's. You're you're sleeping on it. But what? You think it's gonna go in like stage one or something? I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'm gonna find a way to f figure this out. Not gonna tell you about it. I'm gonna show up to your house one day, just knock down the door, and I'm gonna go, let's play some year fifty, kick your ass with Encino, and make you just just call me your daddy for the rest of your life. Okay. All right. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Like let's this. Yeah. Uh, Bunnelby. This card's really cute. It's very bad though. Oh no, it's horrible. But it's one of the cutest arts in the game. Also, this Diggersby is pretty damn fucking stupid. That's creepy. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, right? That's, this reminds me of the scene in Star Wars with uh, Leia on like the leash in Jabba the Hutt. Uh, it's like, he looks like Jabba. Like, I don't know how Jabba talks, but... <laughs> oh, man, I was really excited. <laughs> I was like, oh, man, I'm oh, running, running. <laughs> But, yeah, never mind. Um, yeah, I don't like that. I'm going to have nightmares about that. Yeah. Uh, Type Null is an EX. It evolves into Sylvanee. Okay. Huh. Yeah, I know this. I don't get. Can't you like change its type with the weird plate thing? You can type a sil 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 valley sil valley. You can change that, but you can't type the type null. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, you can play this. Uh, gyro unit's pretty cool. Oh wait, basic Pokemon. Never mind. This card's not very cool. <laughs> That's a basic one. Like. Mm -hmm. This feels like a worse Mega Metric or something. I don't know. For three energies, though. And you can change its type. I don't know. It's weird. It's like a worse Mega Manectric, I think. Like, you still have to spend the turn doing it, and... I'm only accelerating one, and you can't, like, heal Mega Turbo it to... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and here are all the full arts of those and the Rainbow Rares, because, man, collectors suck. Man, this set sucks. Yeah. Trainers, Countercatcher, guess what? Won't be played. Not in this format. Want to know why? Because we don't. Cause there's power hand extension, and we don't play that. And we don't play power hand extension. So, and power hand extension is just like strictly better because you Maybe have. Maybe we should play that, but we're not going to play this. Yeah, right. Uh, dashing pouch is bad. I'm going to ask you guys. Uh. Yeah, I can't think of anything that yeah. you would use that for. Devoured field actually might take the place of reverse valley, because if you're fighting against a metal deck as a dark deck. You don't want them to reduce that 10 damage. Yeah, or if you're just... You play both, I guess. Yeah. I think Devoured Field gets just replaces... I think it just strictly replaces... I don't think you play both. I think it just strictly replaces Reverse Valley in decks. That's fair. I don't think you need to play two. So It also goes in uh, Neuburn. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. And, like, any Dragon deck, we I think... this in Neuburn, yeah. I think Dragon decks, like, 100% just plays this. Like, any what Dragon deck. Dragon decks are there? None. <laughs> oh, oh, Garchomp, yeah. Uh, fighting memory. If you play it, I, I guess play Savali so that you can get strong energy. Okay, whatever. Gladion will not be played because you get to choose your own prizes. Yeah, it's not very good. No. Uh, Lucimine we talked about. Yeah, it's probably gonna go in some stuff. 
I think this goes in anything with uh, download Porygon in it. It goes in anything with download Porygon, but I think even more so it makes the case to go in anything that relies on a stadium. Yeah. Because there's no too. good stadium recovery. Um, I don't think there's like anything. Marley's is like your worst bet or your best bet. Yeah. But it's still not good. So Lucimine takes that like, like late game. Like, hey, are you gonna give me? Are you gonna give me this trump card, or are you gonna give me the um, lost world? You know, yeah. Like, are you give me this busted card, or are you gonna give me this? So I think Lucimine like mid game plays, it could actually see play. Oh, what the heck? Oh, I really hope someone else is not on the account right now. That's awkward. We're almost done. I know. It's twelve forty six. What the heck? Chris Hauser, man. There's no way he's awake right now. It's Thursday. He works today. Yeah, I think Lucimine will go in most things, though. I don't. I mean, yeah. I think a, a good portion. I don't know about most, but a good portion. I mean, just think about how many games devolve into, like, how can I hex every turn? Like, once you have a lead, Lucimine just gives you another way to do that. Right. Um, I don't get kicked again. Okay, so Lucimine, peaking red card, I think it's just, like, you reveal and then you Sabrina's gaze them. Oh, I don't like that. So, yeah, Sabrina's case is particularly better. Psychic memory so that your your Sylvanie can actually attack with Dimension Valley and DCE. That's true, I guess. So that's, like, the only cool part about it, I guess. But that's, like, a three-card combo where, like we said, Mega Matrix is just strictly better. Yeah. Sea of Nothingness, I think, is just horrible. Um, yeah, I, I don't like that at all. Because they just play another stadium or they windstorm it. Yeah. And then you're back to this. We already talked... Olivia is just... Um, I mean, it's bad, and then, um, yeah, and then all the other things sorry in the set is secret or wishful baton too. That's weird. yeah, right. Warp energy we get in shining legends, so we already talked about that. But counter energy is the new energy. Counter energy is going to go in some stuff, that's for sure. Oh yeah, um, it's, this is going to go in DC decks. <laughs> it'll go in. Well, it'll go in anything that already plays double rainbow, right? Because it's the same sort of concept of anything that plays DC, like relies on DCE, plays upper energy, and upper energy you have to be losing to play it. So I think yeah. it goes anything with double rainbow because it's the same sort of argument oh, yeah. for DC. This is definitely going in stuff. So. Yeah, I think it's a, I think it's a really, I think it's one of the better special energies of the last like, like five six years. Like this and strong energy are like. Yeah, strong energy is like the most relevant. I would say. Like black and white on special energies, those are like the only two that actually like legitimately get played quite a bit in UN50. Yeah. So. so. Wow, that set was really underwhelming. Yep, no, it really is. Uh, what's your best card takeaway? If I say Kakuna, are you going to call me a little bitch? No, because like, Kakuna's not a bad pick as the best card out of the set. I think it like legitimately top three for UN50. Um, I, I, mean, think, I, think it's, I think it's just loose meme. I think Alone and Golem. Might be the I best. I you think that. I don't think that. <laughs> I think Sincino. No, you don't. Fuck <laughs> uh, oh, this is the. Oh yeah, because yeah, this is we're signing legends. So I'm, I, I, I don't know. I think I think it's literally like I think counter energy is probably the best card in the set. That's true. Counter energy could be considered best card. Counter energy, Lucamine, and Kakuna. You know it's lame when you pick Kakuna as top three. I so. mean, this drastically changes. Drill, though. Yeah, for sure. Like, it single-handedly makes an archetype a tier or two up. Yeah. Like, where did we put King Dr in our, or Cocoon in our recent tier listings? I'm guessing four or five. I think so too. I want to just double check this. Like, I want to, I want to, I want to find out where we're going with this U150 tier list. Hey, ours is the first thing to pop up. <laughs> what do you know? Um. Oh, so we put it in tier three. It looks like. Whoa. I think it'll be like tier two ish, maybe. Well, because remember it, it it made it it made it all the way to. Yeah. It made it all the way to what like to win win and get to the top eight. Yeah. As is. Sure. Um. So it might bump up to tier two. Yeah. I think I think tier two is like the decks in tier two are already pretty stacked though. So, so in, yeah, or that, sorry, the the set. power rankings. It'll move into the top sixteen of the power rankings. Yeah, for sure. Instead of uh, if you want to 
if you want to shout out to that dude. Shout out to that dude. I mean, I mean, it, it even brings up a fair point. Like, yeah, we we force them into these eight thing tiers, but when we're not talking about the tournament itself, then yeah, it doesn't make sense. When we talk about the tournament, it makes sense to do it into that. Yeah. Um, but that's like a seeding thing. So if we call it power rankings, we can say this is a top that Beedrill moves into the top twenty yeah, decks for sure, for sure, hundred percent, maybe top fifteen. But that would make it a, a seed two level deck. So, but okay, sweet. Yeah, that's all we got for today. If you have any questions, please let us know. Hope you guys enjoy the video. And we'll see you next time.